Hey everyone, this is Kevin from themathworld.com and today we're going to be looking at circumference. And all circumference is, is the perimeter of a circle. So a lot of times you'll say find the perimeter of a rectangle or a square, but when you're trying to find the perimeter of a circle, it's called the circumference. And you'll see this a lot of times in geometry. And the formula to find this is C being circumference equals 2 pi r, or you may see it as just pi times d. Now r in this case is going to be the radius, and the radius is this line from the outside to the very middle of the circle. And the d in this case is the diameter, which is a line from one side of the circle to the other side of the circle. And these are interchangeable because 2 times r is the diameter. So two radiuses added together are the diameter. So if you're given the radius or the diameter, either one, it doesn't matter. You can still find the circumference. So we're going to go over a few examples and take a look at how to use this formula to find the circumference. And it's important to note today we're going to be assuming for pi that it's 3.14. That's 3.4 yada 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 forever and ever, but a lot of times they'll just ask you to round it off to 3.14 and that's what we're going to be using today. If you have a calculator and they ask you for an exact answer you can plug in pi, but we're just going to assume that pi equals 3.14. So let's say we're given this circle here and let's say the radius, they say this would be the radius right here, and they say the radius is 6. And they say find the circumference of this circle. All we have to do, we'll go ahead and use the formula that we have. 2 times r, if we're given r, we'll just use this formula. If we're given d, we'll use the bottom one. But 2 times r is 12. 6 times 2 is 12. So 12 times 3.14. And this will give you your answer. So I don't have a calculator on me, but... 12 times 3.14, and you can just use your calculator to multiply it out. This is going to give you the circumference, or just C, depending on how they ask for it. All right, we'll go ahead and do another one here. Let's say they give you a circle, and they say that the diameter, the entire width of the circle, is 3. And they say, what is the circumference? Well, all we have to do now is just do 3 times pi. Since 3 is the entire width, that's the diameter, then we can just do 3 times pi. And it would just be 3 times 3.14. And I can actually just multiply this one out. 3 times 4 is 12. Write my 2, carry my 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus the one we carried is 4. And then 3 times 3 is 9. So in this case, the circumference of a circle with a diameter of 3 is 9.42. This is how you're going to use the circumference. Now, a lot of times, you'll be given a circle, and they may say the circumference of the circle is 10. This entire perimeter of the circle is 10. And they may ask you, what is the radius. You're trying to find the radius in this case. So over here, our example again, it was c equals 2 pi r. Well now we have our c. We know what c is. It's 10. So we have 10 equals 2 pi r. We're going to divide by 2 by both sides. So we have 5 equals pi r. And then all we have to do now is get the r by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by pi. So if they ask you, a lot of times you'll be asked to write it in this form, r equals 5 over pi, or if they want an exact number, you can do it on your calculator, but the radius, this line right here from the edge of the circle to the center, is 5 divided by pi. Now if they ask you for the diameter, the entire width, it's just this number times 2. So if they ask you for the diameter, 
this times 2 is 10 over pi, just times 2 over 1, and multiply it out, and we get 10 over pi. So it doesn't matter if they give you the radius or they give you the diameter and ask for the circumference, or if they give you the circumference and ask for the radius or the diameter. You can also work backwards depending on what you're given and what you're asked for. So now that you know all this, you can pretty much do any circumference question that you'll be asked. So hope you guys enjoyed this video on circumference. Hopefully you've learned a lot on how to use the different equations that we talked about. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure you check out the mathworld.com to learn other geometry topics and also to practice this on some of the example problems that we have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in our next video.